It's Dave Johan once again for Punch Up Boxing. Pleased to be joined by Shannon Ryan over in Birmingham. How are you? I'm good. I'm excited. Launch press conference is just finished um, ahead of June 22nd. And yeah, it went really well. And I'm looking forward to, again, the fight come June 22nd. I mean, the word of the day, so many fighters mentioned this today, was pull out. Pull out. Don't pull out. Don't pull out. Make sure you show up. Do you genuinely think that this is going to be the case? I mean, the, the, it was quite heated, wasn't it, between you and you and Emma, which, uh, which wasn't expected. I thought it's going to be nice. Not because you're females, I thought everything's going to be, you know, quite Yeah, no, I, I had to ask if she was nervous. More more because when the fight got um, ordered last year and we were supposed to fight, then a lot of interviews went out on her behalf, um, you know, saying that she's not worried. And there wasn't really any respect put on my name, just saying that I've done nothing in the sport, um, which I think is a bit outrageous, like an outrageous statement. But um, And then when we're sat at the table now, I heard that there was some respect put on my name. So I just had to ask her, are you nervous? Because people tend to do that when they are kind of feeling it. So um, I just asked her a question and then it went back and forth. And um, yeah, here we are ahead of the fight. What were you guys saying at the um, at the face-off? Not the way, but with the face-off there. Was... Yeah, so I asked her if she's nervous. She said no. Um, and then she started to say that I've been talking rubbish. And I have not spoken once till that time. So um, I just said again, like, I've not spoke. And that's when I pointed down to the table where she had said um, that I'm a great fighter and whatnot. Um, and I just told her to be ready, you know. She pulled out once. Um, I boxed every 10th. I got the rounds under my belt. And, um, yeah, I just said be ready for June 22nd. I mean, in regards to the actual fight as well, there's a couple of titles on the line. You're making history. How does that feel? Fantastic. You know, we're the first females. Um, so, again, credit to Emma and I um, for, for fighting for the British because there's, no, there's not been a fight in the super flyweight division for that belt, you know, and the Commonwealth, she's got that. So I'll pick that one up as well as the British and add that to my WBA International. Signing, sorry, signed with 258 Management. Um, the head of 258 uh, Management, Mr. Anthony Joshua, both from Watford as well. How's it like working with him? Because I mean, I've never spoken to you before or anything like that, but what, what's that like working with someone who's, you know, so accomplished? Yeah, no, it's fantastic. You know, what he's done for his, for his career and the sport of boxing itself is fantastic. And he's someone that, I look at what he's done and I think, think it's incredible. And I think the whole of 258, we all have the same vision for myself, for myself and my career. And I feel like if you look at my journey up until now, it is going uh, and it's growing and developing so vast and so great as well. And um, I can't thank them enough and I'm looking forward to the future. In regards to 258 management and where it's, where it's going as well, we've got Jordan Flynn uh, on, on the card as well. Um, that, that's going to be fire. Um, how do you break that one down? Yeah, real needle there. Um, and there has been for a while. Um, it's over going back and forth. They've got some pushes in their one. But um, yeah, do you know what? I think it'll be a cracking fight and um, something that I will be looking forward to watching as soon as I'm finished. And looking at the, at the division and the female, um, should we just say weight classes and everything like that, you're potentially on the cusp of a, of a world title after this as well because in the women's game it's fair to say as well that women get elevated and get those opportunities a lot quicker which is which is great as well because the sport is growing so is it fair to say as well that you could be in these massive fights and these massive showdowns this year yeah do you know what i believe so we've i've always said at the beginning of my career i'm not in a rush to win a world title i believe i'm good enough to beat anyone in my division um but I love like the men's where they've had 18 fights and then they fight for a world title. And I do understand that it's not the same for the females because the division and the pool is so small. We're, we're, it's great that it is growing, but um, yeah, I'm I'm happy with the rate that with the how fast the rate and speed of my career is going. So whether it's the end of the year or the start of next year, I'm happy for either one. And just very finally as well. Um, in regards to Usyk and, um, and Tyson Fury, they've got a little affair of the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world. I take it you'll be watching that as well. How do you break that one down? I will be watching it. I think Usyk is going to win. I think he's going to be phenomenal. I do think Tyson Fury is going to bring it for sure. He's going to be loose, um, throw those shots out there. But I just think Usyk is going to be tremendously fit. And um, yeah, I just, I just have this feeling that he's going to win. Absolutely brilliant. Shannon, all the best from Punch-Out Boxing Thank and we'll you. catch up with you soon. Thank